Good day, everyone. Your cupboards hold far less than what your mind can hold. And we've got to sweep away those cobwebs regularly. My video this week, Declutter Your Mind. There was a certain village which had at its center a huge well. This well was very large, very deep, and had a lot of water. And all the villagers gravitated towards this well for all their needs, cooking, cleaning, drinking, and irrigating the fields. And one day, a dog fell into this water and drowned. And soon a foul smell started emanating from this well and they couldn't use the water anymore. Well, they tried all their village remedies like throwing alum on the water, sprinkling the pesticides that they used on their farms. They even called the big company from the city and they came and they sprayed chemicals all over but that smell just would not go away. So finally they went to the wise old man in the mountains and they told them what the problem was. And the man listened to them a long while and then quietly said, I know you've done everything that you can, but have you taken the dog out? And the villagers looked at each other in consternation because that was the one thing they had not done. We too are like those villagers. We have unlimited access to our mind and the well of thoughts that are in there. And back to the story. No matter how many times or how many measures the villagers took, unless they took that dog out, that smell would not go away. We too all have that dog in our minds, sometimes a kennel full of them. We keep repeating in our minds unpleasant incidents. We re-loop them over and over again. And that makes us anxious. It troubles us no end because we won't let it go. We have a certain picture of our future and when things don't work our way, well, we feel let down and we feel hatred, envy and resentment. Is it worth it? It only prevents us from being the person we were meant to be. Stop overthinking. Like that dog, we've got to get to the root of what is troubling us. We've got to try and erase that memory. We've got to find new outlets so that this thought does not become an obsession. We've got to press that delete button. Well, a lot of people tell me, well, that's easier said than done. I know it is, but with constant and conscious practice, it will happen one day. I have been very fortunate to have traveled widely, but I never go to visit the same place or see the same sights over again. Life is too short and there is a lot out there yet to be explored. I want to experience all of that. It's the same with our thoughts. We have the same thoughts over and over again and toxic people in our lives. We've got to let them go. There are many more people to meet, many more places to see. 
meet them, go there and open yourself to new horizons. As in the words of Mahatma Gandhi, I will never allow anyone to walk through my mind with his dirty feet. I think we should all do the same.